Hello everyone, Ryan Embry coming here from the Hunter Hotel Investment Conference once again. I've got Mark with me. Mark, you thank you so much for joining the Sweet Spot. Absolutely, it's my pleasure. I love being at the Hunter Conference. Yeah, it's a great conference, you know, and a very important conference. Uh, we talk to industry leaders about how the health of our industry really depends on these transactions and having these networking conversations. Uh, what is the Hunter Hotel, this is not your first time, no. but what does the Hunter Hotel Conference mean to you? Well, uh, you're right, Ryan. This is uh, we've been to this conference many times. This is an important event, uh, particularly for its geographic uh, placement, but just the connections uh, we've been sponsoring and have been a part of this event for many, many years. Uh, for Hotel Equities, this is probably our largest uh, presence that we've ever had uh, here in Atlanta. Uh, we're based here in Alpharetta, Georgia, not too far away. Uh, but just the connections, the people, the resources, uh, the opportunity to have solid networking time, I think really makes it some meaningful of that. Yeah, right up the road, like you said, right? You know, one of the things we've been hearing a lot about is kind of these looming factors right now, whether it's the economy, whether it's the election, interest rates, obviously. Um, what do you think puts hotel equities in a really good position right now to keep an aggressive and, and growth mindset? Yeah, I think there's a number of things that makes HE stand out. Uh, we've grown quite a bit through our strategic partnerships over the last three years. And uh, one, of, one, of, one of those was announced this morning with new, our new partnership with Trust Hospitality, uh, which we're really, really excited about. And so I think it speaks to the resources and the uh, intelligence, the, uh, the, the versatility that we have from all of our partners and, and our corporate staff and our team members that, that we provide to our clients and, uh, and to our guests and our associates uh, all the way around. And so that allows us to be flexible and adaptive and really speak to our strengths in uh, the various different projects and markets that we find ourselves in. Yeah, and we're just in Q1 right now, got to get ramped up for the spring and summer. Yeah. Seeing any trends right now as far as where business is going or what 2024 might look like moving forward? Uh, for our business specifically, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're still targeting a lot of uh, growth through organic third-party management. That's a big, big focus for us. Uh, but we're not taking our foot off the pedal in terms of trying to identify additional groups that we can partner with um, uh, around the country. And so looking for w areas and pockets that we may be uh, not as heavily pre uh, prevalent in or, or have a strong presence in, Northeast uh, as being one example. Uh, so that's one thing. We're also looking to grow quite a bit uh, in the extended stay segments as well. We want to continue to put a focus on growing in that particular segment and helping our clients grow in that segment as well. One of the things that is, big, is hotel costs are still at a very, yeah. very uh, high. And, yes. and the one thing that we've been hearing a lot about is about operational efficiency. And it's going to be those third party management companies that really know how to operate efficiently and make the most out of the dollar that yeah. I think the hotel owners are going to start getting drawn to. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you speak to a little bit of that and, and what you guys are doing at Hotel Equities to make sure that the owner feels good uh, with that Hotel Equities brand? Yeah, well, I, I think one of the great things that we provide is the scale of a large organization, but the hands-on approach of a smaller organization. Yeah. So the benefits of that is because of our scale and the economies of scale that we can provide, we want to help try to find savings wherever we can in terms of procurement, uh, insurance savings, um, you know, providing reach in, in, in touch points because we have so much reach and uh, connections to our point. operations people around the country that we can be present and we can be uh, hands-on wherever we're at. Uh, to provide the focus that is needed to make sure that we're staying on top of our margins, that we're staying on top of not just cost efficiencies and savings, but uh, wherever we can leverage uh, and stay on top of brand requirements, guest service, uh, uh, touch points as well. So that we're, we're checking all the boxes and we're doing whatever we can to help pro provide savings and resources because of our scale and, uh, and reach for yeah. our people. Well, congratulations on the news, Mark. Mark, one of our first hospitality trailblazers yes. from our series. Right. So <laughs> great to see you in person again. And uh, we'll continue to keep an eye out for the continued success, Mark. Awesome. Appreciate Thank you so it. much. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it.